We may remember the song titled "Mary, Did You Know?" Mary, did you know? And the singer addressed a number of questions to the Blessed Mother. Mary, did you know that your only son, or your baby boy, would one day save the world or rule the world? Did you know that your baby boy would heal the sick and give sight to the blind? Did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? And the answer is that Mary didn't know many things that would come along the way when she was called to be the mother of the Savior. When the angel came to Mary, he greeted Mary, "Hail, Mary, full of grace; the Lord is with thee." And then he gave Mary the message: "You have been chosen to be the mother of Jesus, who would sit on the throne of his father David, who would save the world." The angel didn't reveal to Mary that when she was due, when the child was ready to be born, that there would be no place for her in the end. Imagine the Creator of the world, the owner of everything, created. There was no place for him in the end, just as so many of us have no place for him in our hearts. Mary didn't know that, but she pondered the word of God in her heart, and she kept trusting the Lord. The angel didn't. Let her know that soon after she gave birth to her son, that she would flee to Egypt. That Herod would be searching for the child to kill him. Even when Mary was told to flee to Egypt. She was not told what to expect along the way. Would there be food for the child there? Water? What about the weather condition? Where are they going to stay? No one told her what to expect along the way. The angel didn't tell Mary that the child would be missing. Some days, the sword of sorrow would pierce our hearts. Those three days that were bleak and dark, didn't know whether you would really find your child. Where is he? She didn't know. The angel didn't tell Mary that she would. Meet her son along the way to Calvary. A child carrying a heavy cross, blood streaming down her body, his body. She didn't know that. She didn't know that she would stand by the cross, looking at her son bleeding and writhing in pain. She did not know that she would wrap her child with a grave cloth, and the child buried in the tomb. She did not know all this. Yet she kept.
pondering in her heart the word of God, and she kept trusting the Lord. Sometimes when God gives us certain responsibilities or He calls us to a certain vocation, He doesn't explain what we would expect completely. Cause Abraham, leave your father's land to a place where I would show you. He didn't tell Abraham what you would expect, what you would see there. He just go. He didn't even name the place. God calls us to faith in Him. Faith is not knowing about what will happen in the future. Faith is about knowing the God of the future. Faith is not knowing what would come to you tomorrow, how things will work out. Faith is about knowing God who works things out in your life. It's important to remember this. Mary trusted even in the midst of uncertainty, she kept her faith in the Lord, kept her heart in Him. Like Mary, many of us face certain things that we didn't expect along the way of life. Remember when I was in St. Louis, Praying with a family that lost their only son. When the young man turned 18, the family bought a car for him. But he died in a car crash. The family didn't know that when they were buying the car, the car would be totaled. They didn't know when they were holding their baby boy, when he was newly born, that he would die so soon. There are many things that we didn't expect that have come into our lives. And we say, I didn't know that this man that I loved, that I married, would walk out of my life so soon. This woman would walk out of my life. This person that I loved so much would turn his or her back against me. I didn't know that my child would die so soon. I didn't know that someone I trusted would betray me. I didn't know that I would suffer this sickness in my life. Many I don't know that come in our lives. What do we do when we encounter things that we didn't expect along the way? Mary would teach us how to face life's tragedies and adversities and trials with faith and total resignation to the will of God. Are you sorrowful? Turn to Mary. She knows how to bear sorrows in faith. Do you feel depressed or lonely? Turn to Mary. Does life seem bleak and dark in your life? I want to turn to her. And she will wrap you in her arms of comfort and cover you in her maternal mantle of consolation, of grace. She knows how to do it. She loves us. She knows how to go to the foot of the cross to plead for us, to pray for us. You may not know what would come along the way in your life. But know that our Blessed Mother and her Son walks with you along the way.
Let us now gather our prayers on behalf of the needs of the world and bring them before our loving God.